We're just gonna keep fighting it yeah. because it's not fair. And now Deanna and Maya Cook have some big support in that fight. We I first met the twin sisters, so sophomores at Mystic Valley Regional Charter School last week after their hair drew national attention. I've just been getting more and more infractions and infractions and attentions and attentions. The school claims their braids violate its hair and makeup policy, resulting in the girls being banned from extracurricular activities. Now the attorney general is stepping in. In a letter from the AG to the school's interim director Friday, comments read in part, to the extent that MVRCS has applied the policy unequally to punish students of color more frequently or more harshly than other students, that that too is clearly unlawful. Overwhelming, all the support that we've gotten, the fact that they even did that was just yeah. really awesome. I was awesome. really thankful that they would do that for us. Mm -hmm. We're cautiously optimistic. I mean, I think that based on the letter, based on the arguments that the Office of the Attorney General laid out, uh, there's a pretty compelling case that the school needs to take a, take a look at this policy. In the meantime, the girls tell us they have been overwhelmed by the community support. I was surprised on how many people like came out. To, I didn't like, think people cared that much. Yeah. People do care. A lesson among many these two fighters are now learning outside of the classroom. I know it's not going to be over, but I hope that we minimize the pain everyone else has to suffer for yeah. the future. Now, we've also learned the school's board will be holding an emergency meeting this Sunday. We'll be sure to update you on the results of that meeting.